damn too much of this game and knows that they're not showing up. Alright, radio tower's clear at least, so we can get this done. So, if you don't know about radio towers, like I said earlier, I've got a video on it. Get high for a better view. Just grab your telescope or your binoculars and start climbing these. These are absolutely important. Make sure you take advantage of every radio tower you can get access to because of the reason you're about to see. So here's one of the reasons right there. So we got a telescope and a map. So we're at the top of a tower and they give you the telescope that is going to extend your vision range. Now this is random. This is not the only combo. Sometimes you'll get nothing. Sometimes you'll visit five of these places and get nothing. It's random. There's about four or five different things that you can find up here. This is just one, the telescope map combo. There's also one that has a sniper rifle and usually some ammo for it. There's one that has a soldier that's stationed up here, so you'll have all the soldier body stuff because he's dead and you get all his stuff. Uh, and I know there's, I think, one other one that has stuff that I never care about, like a little desk and some drink or some alcohol or something. Um, but yeah, this is one, so we don't really need the map, although it will extend things a bit. What the hell? What is that screen? <laughs> what have I done? That's interesting. How do we get back to that screen? <laughs> we'll have to look at that screen again. Uh, I don't need the telescope because we've got binoculars and they don't add. They're not additive. Uh, we'll take the map and we'll go ahead and use the map. It'll extend our road range a little bit. And then we're going to drop the map. We don't need it after that. Alright, here's the real reason you come up here though. You go to your map and then you go down to the bottom floor and there you go. we got another lab right across the road. This is the range. You get that much range distance by sitting in a radio tower with uh, a telescope or binocular. So we had already gotten everything to the south. We got a little bit further to this part of the east. There's a lumber mill. We can get a few things at the lumber mill that's semi-useful. Problem is we'd have to drive across and then around and then up. It's all kind of buried. Uh, we got the lab ant hill combo, my least favorite. I hate those. We got another lab. I think this is the most labs I've ever seen on the map in one section in quite a while. I've had problems up until recently in actually seeing labs for some reason. So we got a lot of choices for labs. That one, yeah, we can get access to that. We've got a road network next to over there. Cross that bridge. So we gotta make a decision now. Uh, we got a roadblock across the bridge. I can't cross that. I would love that Humvee. Humvee is my vehicle of choice. But, um, I don't want to tangle with the minefield, and I'd have to take apart a bunch of stuff, and there's razor claws in the area, so I think that's a no-go. <laughs> my desire for that Humvee is being uh, countered by my desire to keep this character alive, and I don't think I, that would be survivable for me. If this wasn't here, I could deal with this over time. I'd need to raise a few things. High perception and some trapping skill would be great, so we can uh, know where the mines are. Beyond that, though, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to deal with that. So, the Razor Claws scare me the most. And having them just pop up out of the water onto the bridge, and then me getting stunned, and then them being on me before I could do anything. So we got to avoid that. So we're not going to be able to do anything beneficial there. So getting across this, maybe I can get across over here, depending on the arrangement of the building and how much space I have to get onto this bridge. But we can't cross the river at this point, basically. So we're still relegated to the south side of the river. So it's either come back and check that other lab right there and see if we can squeeze around it in our vehicle to get on this bridge. Or we head back the way we came and hit this road network. We're going to have to cross a bridge here, skirt the edges of a town, and then come back across if, for example, we wanted to go there. I'm not confident we'd be able to get to a spot we could get up into that area. So yeah, we got a few options. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> I just think it's funny the number of times that uh, I say something like, uh, I hope this gives me that item, and boom, there it is. It happens fairly often. And I know that's mostly due to my familiarity with the game and <laughs> what, what, what things can show up where. It just amuses me every time I make a statement like that, and immediately, there it is. Alright, uh, there's no outbuilding here for me to, to get any loot or useful items from. I could smack the computer for some computer parts, but I'm not needing any of that stuff really yet, so let's just... Let's do the changes I mentioned, actually. Let's unload the headlamp. Where... Yeah, it won't let me wear it in combination anyway, so... Take off the headlamp. Where the... Oh, no, I got something else. What do I have? Oh, I got the hard hat on. So the hard hat's 8-8 eight eight as well, but it's letting me combine the two. So it's essentially, the mining helmet is a hard hat with a light attached. So we might as well still do the switch. So we're going to go with the uh, mining helmet, and we'll reload. There was a battery in there? <laughs> All right. I guess there was. So I think we're good there. Let's go dump a few things in the back. So a surprising number of people I've seen in Discord recently don't realize that if you give the drop command, you can press D and that brings up the multi-drop menu and that's to drop things at your feet right where you're standing. But a surprising number of new players apparently don't know you can use capital D or shift D and then you get to pick where to drop the items. So I can drop items north of me, for example. Pick it back up, I can drop them to the east. So, use the capital version, Shift D, to do a drop where. That lets you drop items onto a specific location. And this, this comes up mostly when they're trying to do things like loading charcoal into a kiln, or, or loading wood into a kiln, or things like that. Because they're trying to step onto the space and then drop items where they're standing. And they can't figure out how to use the item because it won't let them stand in that space. And that's usually where I see the question come up is how do I load this or how do I do that? And it's almost always because they're not aware of the ability to drop to a space adjacent to you. So, hopefully. If any of you are not aware of that, you uh, you now know. All right, before we leave here, actually, let's uh, let's let's stop. I'm going to go take my break. I almost forgot. Uh, we're a little, about, a little over four hours in. I need to go get some tea. And get cookies for Zombie Dog and a Mega Biscuit for Zombie Dog. So I'll be gone my usual few minutes to uh, get all that done. And uh, we'll be back here shortly.
I'm back. Do, do. This sucks. I want to get it settled back in. Oh, get my ass back into these chair grooves. Ugh. Ugh. What's been going on while I've been gone? I know you guys talk about me while I'm gone. Mm. Uh oh, too much stuff. Yeah, Zombie Dog's full up tonight. He got all his cookies and his Mega Biscuit. Alright, I think uh mostly caught up. How am I surviving alcohol withdrawal? <laughs> Took long enough. I've I've already talked about that. <laughs> Good riddance to bad broken rubbish. Alright. So we've got uh, a full pile of cookies for Zombie Dog. One, two, three, four, five. I gave him all the little ones. I'm gonna keep all the gorillas and the uh, all of the alligators for me. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about, here's a gorilla and a, and a kitty cat. Which one would you rather have? <laughs> so I'm keeping the alligator, and the gorilla is the same size as the alligator. Zombie Dog, you get the kitty cat and the otter. All right, I think we've got a fair proportional arrangement here. Five for you, five for me. Oh, we're all set up. Let's see. Here you go, buddy. Hippopotamus. Buddy. Me, I'm going to have that alligator. See if my tea went nuclear on me. Mm. Uh, they're the exact same quantity of cookies. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> All he needs to do is eat three of these cookies and then chase it down with five chunks of raw fat from the neighbor's cat that he kills. And he'll uh, he'll rebalance his, his body weight. There you go. <laughs> apparently, apparently these Mega Biscuits... They have a high scent value because <laughs> as I was walking through the house, my scent trail apparently attracted a zombie dog. <laughs> and I had a, 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 a close companion all the way back up the stairs to the chair here. Um, otter for you. Otter for me. Mm -hmm. All right, last cookie, buddy. I'll let you have the big one. Get the alligator. I'll take the stupid little cat. How does lobotomy work in Slave Zombies? Go to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Look up Backpack Buddy. Or Zombie Nightlight. Either one. Yes, you can enslave zombies. Just like Michonne in Walking Dead. Just go to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Look up Backpack Buddy. Or Zombie Nightlight. I don't remember if it was a quick... I think it was a quick tip. I forget. I don't do it very often because I don't find them ter terribly useful, but it shows you a couple of examples. All right, Mega Biscuit time. There you go, buddy. The big one. The big one. There you go. Right there. That's where you're going to have that. All right. Ugh, I think we're all set. Uh, I don't think it'll let you link the video, will it? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Give me one second.
Ah, I'll give it a try. Welcome to VIP status, under radar. <laughs> Don't let it go to your head. Don't abuse your linking privileges. It can be taken away, as easy as it's given. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go. I, I haven't, I haven't watched that real closely recently. Uh. I can't even remember how many I'm allowed to have. <laughs> uh, it's been a while. I'll be looking into that in detail here pretty quick. All right. I think we're all set. <clears throat> Add night commands for quick tips. Uh, that'd be an awful lot of them, wouldn't it? <laughs> I think I would rather just uh, assign some friendly moderators and let them just copy and paste the links in as needed. That'd be a little better. I mean, I can usually give enough information to, uh, to, to name the quick tip, but there's quite a few of them now, so sometimes I forget. Let's get back to business. Do, do, do. All right, Carl Kolchak. <clears throat> it's pretty weird having a guy like this with full health at this stage. Let's get driving. I think gas is my overriding priority right now. Mobility is key, and uh, running out of gas is bad. But yeah, I've talked about uh, getting some mods added in for a while now, and we're, we're going to be accomplishing that here pretty soon. So if you have interest in being a mod, make sure you're on my Discord. If you're not on my Discord, I'm probably not going to be interested in having you as a mod on the channel. Maybe. Kind of depends. But uh, Discord's really the primary way I communicate, keep track of folks that are uh, participating in the channel. And uh, make sure you go join up over there if you have an interest. Alright, we are out and about. <clears throat> Why it's fine, as long as I have the ability to yell at you, it's all good. <laughs> as long as you you can read my yelling, then we're we're okay. Because you know, I get into those foul moods and just like to spout off at people randomly. So I'm heading over to that other lab. I don't wanna I don't did we go to the prison? I don't think we went to the prison earlier. And there's a lot of vehicles parked outside the prison, usually. So I probably won't do any anything in the prison, but I want to have an opportunity to check the vehicles. Sometimes I can find uh, ambulances and trucks that have diesel, things like that. The tree farm, eh, if I want a whole bunch of pine nuts, maybe we'll stop at the tree farm. But Another thing I have to remember, I have to remind myself, I dialed the item drop rate back to 0.25. I've been playing 1.0 for a while last, I don't know, six or eight challenges, and um, I've got to get used to not having that massive pile of stuff everywhere I go again. So we might have to resort to pine nuts. It's been quite a while since you guys saw me do the pine nut shuffle. Oh, my Discord's pretty, pretty, pretty calm. Good crowd hanging out at my Discord. So far, at least. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ah! Huh. Guess that's a pretty appropriate spot to have police bot the uh, riot control turrets <laughs> right outside the, uh, the the prison. Let's go around them. They got short range. Only got six ammo in each of those, so not super worrisome. Look at that SWAT truck that's all broken up. Why did it have to be a wrecked SWAT truck? That's one of the things I was hoping to find. Or is that the... No, that's the security van. That's the security van with the basket in front. Oh, not a SWAT truck. Not likely to have gas in it. Wreck there. Might be a... Uh, well, might have gold in there, though. <laughs> Anybody happen to know why they removed diamonds as a requirement for the Diamond Edge weapons from the CBD machines? Was there, like, a reason for that PR change or whenever that change occurred? I, I can't think of a reason why. I mean, it was semi-interesting needing to find diamonds in jewelry stores and jewelry and security vans to use for your diamond-edged weapons in the CBD machine, but you don't need them anymore. I don't even know when that change went in, but... I don't know. I guess. 
And I mean, how is it more real to just use charcoal? I mean, I get probably the idea behind it, but still. Is there a real way of doing that in the in the real world and it just requires charcoal? It doesn't require diamonds? Maybe that's the case. I, I don't know. Is that how they actually make real diamond edge tools? Is they use the base charcoal or coal and not, not actual diamonds? That could be true, though it could be a realism thing. It just from a gameplay perspective, it gave it gave security vans and the the stuff inside some of some kind of uh, actual use. What do we got? Hey, it does have gas. Look at that, three point four liters. Score, score. The wreck actually had some some gas in it still. What you got there? Gold. Yeah, I'm not playing magicalism, so I got no use for gold. Full on crowbar. Well, howdy, full-on crowbar in a random wrecked vehicle. That's a little surprising as well. We'll take it. That's better than my pro... whatever I'm using. What am I using? Blah bar. Blah bar's two? Yeah, two. So we'll get rid of the claw bar for the crowbar. That's an upgrade as well. Unfortunately, I parked too far to siphon. I'm gonna have to move the car a bit. Make some noise. Good old backup beeper. That's at least got us enough gas to make the trip over here worth it. So that kind of falls into the... I know where everything's at. I, I, I know <laughs> where to source things. I know if I go to a prison, I got a pretty good shot at a bunch of vehicles being outside the prison. That's the kind of stuff that factors into some of my decision making and my, my knowledge, my ability to get the stuff I need. That about it. An RV, a wrecked RV, wrecked luxury RV. Hmm, wrecked luxury RV. You've got, oh, look at all that other vehicles down there. So luxury RVs have leather seats, but these look almost all totally wrecked. Mm, I can't, I think those are wrecked as well. No, that's, that's still a good one. So you notice here, when I highlight it, the name says reclining leather seat. That's what we're looking for. Luxury vehicles have leather seats. All the other vehicles have just cotton seats that make rags. But uh, this is a source of leather. Unfortunately, most of them are pretty busted up. I won't get anything out of it. So I, I don't know. Maybe I'll look at that. What I have to worry about is the, uh, the, the bots, <laughs> the iBots, deciding to summon some riot police on me. Can't remember, I think. Look at that pristine roller drum. <laughs> I can't. I think these use diesel as well, so we might get some diesel. Another shot at a, a jack. More car parts. Bike. So, yeah, pretty good list of stuff. And I think... Doesn't the luxury RV use diesel as well? Let's pull up close to it and find out. Uh, no. Yes, yeah, Alright, so I'm remembering wrong there, and we do have a few leather seats. Uh, what's it take to remove those? Yeah, I've got enough. No, that's the clock. <laughs> oh, I don't have enough. I need mechanics too. So we're not quite to the, the spot where I can do that easily yet. Alright, so no leather from seats for me. We'll ignore that one. We'll get better opportunities elsewhere. Alright, let's go uh, airlock style on this one. What is airlock style? Well, that's where you do this. You pull up in such a way that you are locked into your vehicle, nothing can get at you, and you've moved... Oh, I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> there we go. Now we're locked in. This is the airlock style. So I'm protected by my own vehicle design, and I can step into this vehicle without anything showing up and surprising me also. Much preferable to do this. Ah, I should have left the engine running. Like so. So, as long as the vehicle is fully not, not damaged in a space where something can get in. But if I needed to do stuff in here, like take out the seatbelts and so on, then I could do so relatively unmolested while the zombies or the dogs or whatever pile up outside trying to get to me. So, anything worth it? Eh, two liters. Two liters is good. It's got battery. It's got a broken security system. Uh, it's got an engine. Yeah, it's drivable. I could drive the, uh, the road roller. <laughs> I don't really have anything I could, could do with it. Um, there's nothing interesting nearby that I could take advantage of it with. <laughs> now, now. 
<laughs> Don't be petty about my fit about the giant worm. I was really annoying. <laughs> I was really annoyed by those stupid worms. Yeah, let's not try to use this thing. Let's just grab a little bit of gas and go. Alright, and we'll grab the seatbelt while we're here. Might as well. Another rope. Um, anything else yet in sight? Look at all these vehicles! Like I said, vehicles, vehicles. Go visit your prison. <laughs> prison, vehicles, and, uh, or prison for vehicles and bridges. And those are the two I remember the most, is having options for vehicles. Um, let's go ahead and hop out and check around. I haven't seen anything pop up yet. I think this is always a plank in the back of the pickup truck. Let's go double check. Am I remembering that right? Nope, <laughs> it's a bottle jack and a wheel. Well, I'll take the bottle jack, thanks. That's the jack I needed. So if we do head back to the dairy farm, if we go that direction, we have what we need now to uh, jack up that other security van and get the wheel off. Flashlight. There's a lighter. So there's my fire source I've been needing. So we've crossed two more things off my want list. And we're about to run out of road. That's where the tree farm is. I don't need anything from these other vehicles unless there's something in... Oh, that one's got some stuff. Another crowbar. <laughs> what is it? What is it with crowbars raining from the sky into these vehicles all of a sudden? These damn things are hard to find usually. I wonder if they up the crowbar drop rate in vehicle trunks, which would make sense to me that they should be a little more prevalent than they were. But maybe I'm I'm the lucky recipient of a, a change that I was unaware of. Alright, so we've checked all these. Don't need anything up there. We'll grab a few more ropes, just so I know that I am out of uh, needing rope problems. But as I've mentioned, it's so easy to get now with mobility that... Not too worried. Alright, top back into our vehicle. But I didn't know it was rotten. I couldn't see the rotten tag <laughs> when I picked it up. Uh, we're going to ditch the claw bar. I definitely don't want to carry the bottle jack, but I don't want to I don't want to put them up front. So, goodbye PB&H. Goodbye claw bar. Hello, bottle jack. Alright, good trip so far. Well worth the time. <clears throat> Replaced all the gas we used with a little bit of extra. Picked up some useful items. So, we might get a uh, chainsaw here as well. But, let's give the... Since I haven't done this in a while. Whoops, what's over there? Alright, it's the, it's the dastardly chihuahua. I have a pack of chihuahuas. I gotta be careful. <laughs> At the speed I've got them on, they could be chihuahua missiles. There they are. We gotta watch out for Chihuahua missiles. Let's go check. See if we got a uh, chainsaw in the shed. Nah, we got the wood saw though. We'll take that. I could use it. Alright, so if you're not aware, if you're having problems with nutrition in the game, and let's say, for example, you're doing Inner Woods, for whatever reason, I don't judge. If you want to do Inner Woods, do Inner Woods. Do each their own. But however, if you need nutrition and you're having a problem, you can't get into town, it's too dangerous, whatever, here is the best food resource in the game. You go up to a pine tree, you pick the pine tree, and the pine tree gives you pine nuts and pine or pine cones and pine bows. Pine cones you can cook into pine nuts. Only thing it requires is survival two and cooking one. And with a book, you gotta have a recipe for this next one. With the recipe book that provides uh, the recipe for pine needle tea. You can use pine bows to make pine needle tea. They are both healthy for you. They both are positive on health values. And the pine nuts are like 240 calories. 
So they're a high calorie, lightweight, long lasting food source. And there are billions of them. <laughs> I mean, if all I do is harvest all the pine cones here, I'm going to be able to feed myself for probably a month just on pine nuts. And like I said, they have positive health value, so they're healthy for you, and they're super lightweight, super easy to make. And all you need to do is get your survival skill to two, which is super easy. I could do it here, probably close to getting it to two, just by picking all these trees. Yeah, an in-game month. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not joking about it. Well, an in-real-life month is going to depend on how much you play the game. <laughs> I don't know the variables there. So... It's ridiculous. So if you then, for example, turn on the options menu and you turn on auto features, auto foraging for trees, and you turn on auto pickup, enable that, and you set various limits and whatever. I, I don't usually bother. But if we save that, then all I have to do is walk adjacent to these trees, and I'm harvesting them and picking up their stuff. Right up until I fix or I max out. <laughs> my volume, which happens quickly because these pine bows are really, really numerous and very, uh, very volume-centric. So usually I just ditch the pine bows. I guess I could do this. Uh, pine bows. Yeah. Yeah. Give me the cones. Give me the cones. Yeah. The we're still overweight. <clears throat> it keeps. Whatever. You get the idea. So you can get a ton of pine cones. Uh, just, just, just by doing that. So you go basically layer up in duffel bags and rucksacks and so on, so you have a really high carry weight or carry volume. And you just walk through here and grab all this stuff, dumping the pine bows because you're not going to need that much tea. <laughs> That's a lot of tea. See, we almost instantly fill up again. So, I'm not really geared up for doing this quickly right now, because I'm, I'm wearing all my gear and I don't have that much carry capacity. But, um, that's basically what's going on. And while I'm doing this, I'm raising my survival skills. So we're almost a survival one. I'm going to keep doing it just to get my survival skill up. I'll just let everything hit the ground. That'll be simpler. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Chihuahua missiles. We're getting close. <laughs> Did I hit one yet? Uh, yeah, we already hit one, and we're, we're making progress to two. So we probably wouldn't quite get to two with what's left. It's going to slow down now. But now we can make something that's stupid easy to make to get to two. And that's it. Survival two. By the way, the stupid easy thing is Tinder. So use the search bushes and trees method to get to one. That should only take you a minute or two. And then after that, I just make Tinder. All it takes is either the pine bows you're collecting or... Any kind of paper, bark, whatever. Super, super easy materials, and it takes no time at all. Five minutes later, you'll have survival two, and uh, oil some water for cooking one, and then you can eat pine nuts forever. Forever. <laughs> or at least until they fix the, uh, the, uh, the vitamin system. <laughs> if the vitamin system ever goes back in. So, it's another thing people probably, well, some people probably don't know. Vitamin system has been disabled for quite a, way, quite a while. Yeah, you get messages about uh, vitamin A deficiency, but it doesn't actually do anything. It's a toothless system at the moment. There's absolutely no negatives applied to the character. So, it'll tell you you're deficient, but it doesn't actually do anything to you. So, you don't need to worry about vitamin deficiencies. All you need is raw calories and your health stat. That's it. But, um... Don't sweat the vitamins. They've been broke or disabled for a long time. Alright, let's get out of here, because I really doubt I will need to resort to a pine pine nut diet. So let's uh We'll ditch the bows. We'll keep the cones that we actually picked up. Here come those those missile chihuahuas again. They're getting closer. But yeah, it's a superfood. Uh, I mean, the pine nuts are ridiculous. I don't have the pine cone here, but let me show them to you real quick. So there's fresh pine nuts. 202, so I misremembered that. 200 calories. Uh, enjoyability is good, so you, you like eating them. Four portions per batch that you craft. And wait a minute, four portions? Wait a minute. <laughs> uh... 
Uh, is that right? I can't remember now. It's been a while since I made them. Normally you get four portions? I don't remember if it's four pine cones to get four portions. I, I wanted to say it was one to one, but I could be remembering wrong. However, it doesn't show the health stat, but it actually is healthy for you as well. So, good stuff. And as you can see here, it lasts six weeks, but you don't have to turn them into pine nuts. The pine cones last forever. So just make enough to eat for a few weeks and then make a few more as time goes by. So... Yeah, it's a superfood. And you should have no excuse to finding pine cones. Pine trees are prevalent pretty much everywhere. Even inside cities, you can hunt down a large number of pine cones pretty easily. There's, there's wooded trails. There's houses that have pine trees surrounding them. There's a lot of various places where you can get pine cones, even inside of a megacity. So... Terribly afraid of plants? You got that plant phobia, do you? Alright, I will I guess I'll consider that a valid excuse to, to not do it. Or if you just don't want to be bothered. <laughs> it's fine. But uh, it is the superfood, so go for it. Alright, let's head on up to that lab. We've gotten everything we can out of here. We're very successful. It was a, a good trip. We needed the wood saw anyway, because the, uh, the toolbox doesn't include a wood saw portion. Now I just need a, a drill. I think we have all the basic tools covered. Um, maybe we can get across to some of these, but it's a pretty long open area, and I don't think it's going to be worth it. Yeah, let's just go up and look at the lab. Oh, oh. Soldier body site. Here come the big freebies. What do we got? Two bodies? Three bodies I can see so far? And the soldier's gonna chase the, uh, uh, the crack. So, free stuff. What do we got? Three M4s, another shotgun. More radios and lighters. More knives. More clothes I don't want. Lots more clothes I don't want. More MREs. Where's the good stuff? Where's the power armor? Come on. Come on, show it to me. Where is it? No, no power armor. <laughs> Back gloves, army helmets, combat boots. There's a few things in there I do want to grab. I want the army helmet just so I can make a survivor helmet out of it. I want the combat boots because I can uh, butcher them for Kevlar and leather. Um, lots of combat boots. So it's a good sight, and it wouldn't be a bad thing to kill the soldier. They just scare me a bit. I might let him just run away. I guess I could run both of them over. That would be the optimal solution if I'm not too worried about damaging the vehicle. Nah, it takes a lot more than whatever that might be to, to, to bring Vorm to full engorge status. <laughs> this, this, this isn't it. Not even close. I'm not sure I can get up enough speed to kill a soldier. It may just be we, we, we push him forward with the front of the van for four miles. Yeah, I, I can't get enough speed. <laughs> the off-road ability of this van is terrible. So I'd have to shoot him. Alright, we'll, we'll note the direction he's traveling. Let's go get, uh, we'll see how much ammo is in some of these, these weapons, then I'll, I'll decide. Try to chase them down after I take a look here. I've got plenty of volume now that I'm not trying to carry around a million pine bows. Alright, 12 out of 30. We'll grab that. What else? I want the MREs and the combat. That's pretty much. Oh, four, four sites. Cool. What else? Shotgun with one whole round? Well, we'll unload that. I think I got all the fire making I need now. Uh, MREs again. Hey, zombie dog. Careful there, buddy. <laughs> zombie dog uh, bumped into my light. Get a helmet and more combat boots. Only five rounds in that one. I want the radio.
There we go, that's a little better. Oh, I actually managed, managed to get full. Alright, let's unload a few things real quick. Um, none of them are modded. Ditch the who's That's all I need. Pitch the Glock now. Oh, I forgot to grab the one round from the shotgun. That's all right. I, I'm just not going to find enough for the shotgun anymore. We're gonna we're gonna switch to the uh, the M4, our primary. So, for anybody watching that's not aware, if you hit the tab key on this multi-drop menu, you can highlight an entire category. Again, I have a quick tip on it. That allows you to quick select the entire category. Or if you wanted to keep one of the things, you can turn it off and pick the one thing. However you'd like. It feeds things up. All right, let's reload the M4 so it's got a full clip. So we're good to go. Then I wanted to unload the shotgun and activate the shotgun, take off the shotgun, activate the shotgun, unload the rifle, activate the shoulder strap, put it on the rifle, reload the rifle, and ditch the shotgun. Alright, so we got a full clip with a few extras, and we'll keep them, I guess. Uh, we might go try to chase down that soldier. Chances of getting at least back the ammo that I shoot him with is pretty good. See how far he's gotten while we've been doing our thing. I don't want to drive too far. Mm, we may never find him. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to worry about him. Keep moving. Now, none of the, the M4s that the regular soldiers drop, I, in my experience, don't ever have mods, or if they do, it's fairly rare. The M, the, the, the rifles that the bio-operators drop, that's the good stuff. Bio-operators drop heavily modded weapons. You'll find them with, like, six mods on them. Oh, yeah, it can have one. Well, I don't know that there are silencers, but there's suppressors. Alright, lots of noise. There's the lab. That is... That's the new lab. That's the new single floor lab. And it'd be a little tough to get the vehicle in there. <laughs> it'd be a little tough. Could be done, I think. I think it could be done. I don't think it'd be worth it, though. I think it's better for us just to take the trip back to the dairy farm, swap out that wheel, and then work our way up north, northwest. I don't think I would gain all that much from trying to push get into this place. I would like to stop and at least check the front room, though, because we can get... There's a vending machine, there's a desk with some good books sometimes. So we'll at least do that. So we'll stop here. Check my, my gear out. So we've got the rifle. Got to put that over the shoulder. Get out the katana just in case something steps around the corner I don't like. And I think we're, we're all set. Not usually anything spawning out in front of these things. Plus, I can get a look at the bridge. Bus. That might have diesel. And I can empty out my, my water container to go get it if there is diesel. Check that in a minute. So the front area here usually has a vending machine and this desk. 
And another uh, another fire extinguisher. That's another steel jerry can. I do like to have two. So we'll take that. Oh crap, there's two of them? <laughs> okay, well I don't need I don't need that many. Yeah, apparently there was two of them. I didn't notice. I don't need that book. Here's the vending machine. Somebody broke it. And then here's the desk with some usually some books. Hey, sunglass. That I can use too. And no, no good books there either. Alright. No, I am not going down into this place. We do have two ID cards. I could scan the reader there and we could get in. It's just a, a garage entrance with a, an elevator back here. But with the world settings I have, that would be such a death trap. Such a death trap. No, thank you. Alright, let's go peek up the bridge. This is where I get nervous because there could be stuff under the water that I can't see. And it'll just hop right up under the bridge with me. <laughs> and be faster than me. So, I want to know if this has a decent amount of diesel. None whatsoever, so okay. I don't have to worry about that. And the only other vehicle is a, a car. Yeah, it's a pretty light population of vehicles for this kind of a thing. Nothing I care about. I'm not going to worry about getting spring or rope off the seatbelts. Alright, we're done. Get out of here. Now, it's a fake katana. It's not a real one. It's, the, it's a replica, so it doesn't count. You're not a true weeb unless you... Well, I guess true weebs probably do have fake katanas. <laughs> but we're going for the, uh, the the authentic ninjutsu warrior, not the, the weeb warrior. Finding a bunker would be nice. Although I don't yet have my jackhammer solution. That's one thing I do regret. We didn't get a, uh, we didn't get a jackhammer out of a subway before we left. All right. Uh, actually, uh, disassemble. Nope. Disassemble. Fire extinguisher. Take just the scrap metal and the jerry can. Cool. Now I don't have to dip, dip, ditch my water container. So we'll, we'll use this blank one as needed. So my liquid storage solutions are secured. new labs better than the old ones they're different depends on what you're after they can have some okay stuff in them but only certain ones for some reason and I've been told that it's the ones that don't have a building up top that uh, have better loot I can't confirm that personally but um, somebody suggested that that was a possibility because you can find those some of them are underground only that can only be accessed via the subway entrance and supposedly that version that has no upper building like this one uh, has a better loot possibility. But beyond that, they're full of zombie or yeah, full of zombie scientists, skitter bots, and man hacks are just all over the damn place. So if you don't know how or can't deal with skitter bots and man hacks, be very cautious. There's usually quite a few bio operators in there, and there's only one or two. One turret place I know for sure, and maybe a second one I'm, I'm forgetting about. The turrets aren't really a big danger, but it's the density in an enclosed area and the fact that you have to go drop down an elevator and you're in the middle of it. You drop down and you could have 30 enemies staring at you from a few spaces away. So on these settings with this guy in his current condition, oh, absolutely not. <laughs> no way. Uh, it would be a real short trip, so we're not doing that. But there are times where if you just hang out up top and let time cycle, let, let a few hours go by, for example, the robots and the zombies will fight each other and they'll eliminate each other to a large degree. And then you can just walk down and just pulp bodies. And you may not have to fight at all. It just depends on how the fight goes between the robots and the zombies. Because there's quite a few mechanicals down there that can do quite a bit of damage. And uh, I had one time I went in and... I, I, 75, 80% of the stuff in there was dead, and all I did was spend a few hours pulping corpses and uh, loading up gear, so. The scientists have a pretty high chance of dropping random CBMs and some books and all that kind of stuff, so it's great if you're just after scientists and their specific loot, 
and some bio-operators. But beyond that, it's almost all chemistry stuff. It's all chemicals and chemical stuff. So they don't have traditional finale rooms like the older labs do, um, things like that. So I've, I've talked about them. I've posted on Reddit about them a few times and kind of the details. They're okay, but uh, I don't tend to go into them very often if I have a choice. All right, we're just going to drive back across the way, back to the, uh, the, the the dairy farm. We'll do some some vehicle work, get a wheel put on that we're missing, and uh, check the time. And then we might spend the night. That's eh, actually only eight o'clock. I keep forgetting just how much stuff you can do and how much distance you can travel before any real time goes by. <laughs> 